Hi, just a quick follow up on the photocopier teardown because I forgot one thing. Uh, this paper uh, feed mechanism, you know the thing with the big springs that sits on top and you lift up and you can put the photos? Well, that's a complete mechanism in its own right. And I just lifted it off uh, complete with springs and everything and I forgot to tear it down. So here it is. We've basically got another motor controller board in here with a huge stepper motor. So there's some interesting uh, stuff in here as well. It's got uh, the paper uh, sort of, you know, feed tray here, which changes it. You know, you can adjust the distance of the uh, paper to be uh, fed in. And it's got a controller board, another stepper motor. It's got some sensors on the back of that we'll take a look at. So um, just a little extra. Now this paper feed tray is interesting here. As you as you change this uh, slider to adjust the paper width like this, it basically pushes these two plastic arms here. Here we go. Pushes these two plastic arms on a very nice little rolling cog system like that. A little linear cog system, not sure what you call it. And it basically uh, puts this little uh, plastic tab here in between a sensor as you move along. There's actually two sensors in there. You can see them there and as you move it along it will engage like that one sensor there actually corresponds to one paper point here. So no sensor at all corresponds to that paper point. Then the next paper point corresponds to the first sensor there uh, being triggered and then as you move it along as you move it in like that, then you'll get two uh, sensors triggered. And then as you move to the last position there, you'll get uh, just that last sensor. And it's rather interesting that they actually, these sensors are pretty much uh, standardized all throughout the photocopier. And inside here, they've, uh, and on here, they've got these, uh, these paper flaps to indicate you know, whether or not there's paper there. And when you push down on that, they had this, uh, once again, the same uh, optical sensors as well, plugged into here and here, and the wires going out there, and they could detect, once again, that lever. So as you press down on that lever, there was the paper presses down on that lever, it either uh, engages the sensor or it doesn't. And I must have pulled out like a dozen of these uh, little optical sensors throughout the entire photocopier and they're pretty much uh, standardized on them and it'll basically contain an LED and a photo transistor and you can see the little slit in there and the slit in the receiving uh, side over there and if we have a look at this board here you can see the diode symbol on there and of course anode and cathode so there's just got a diode on that side and on this side the emitter and collector of the photo transistor there and it's actually a Rome 574. Now 574 might be familiar to you because that's the wavelength of a green LED but uh, I don't think it uses a green LED. I think that's the uh, model number. Let's Google it. And sure enough you Google Rome 574 and you get the complete sensor system. It's a uh, Rome photo interrupter and there it is. It's complete in the case with the uh, uh, mounting pins on it and it's got a small slit 0.5 millimeter for high precision um, it's designed for optical control equipment fast response well of course it's going to be and it's got a built-in visible light filter as well uh, forward current has uh, their absolute maximum ratings let's go down here and have a look at the characteristics uh, the forward voltage typically 1.3 volts at uh, 50 milliamps uh, drive current for the uh, LED and as for the uh, output characteristics here we're talking uh, 800 nanometers uh, typical sensitivity it doesn't give you a min or max but uh, as it has like a daylight uh, like a light a, a visible light uh, filter on it, it's not going to go too much uh, lower than that so that puts it up into the infrared category so the um, LED would be matching infrared as well and we've got another motor drive uh, PCB down in here and you can see the uh, similar uh, power package before SLA 7044M. Another couple of uh, power devices there. You can tell by those uh, center pins which are really trying to get the heat out from the die in there. And uh, 
you could probably uh, reuse uh, that board in some way, shape or form. But of course, we have a beautiful, big, beefy stepper motor here, which uh, goes into a, a belt system in there through another sensor. There's another one of those optical sensors. You can see it clipped into there. They're, they're standardized all the way throughout the photocopier. Another clutch there. I think there's another clutch down the bottom here as well. They're all over the place. And if I try and get this mechanism apart, it might require a bit of percussive maintenance maybe, but uh, it should just sort of slip off somehow off all these clutches. Maybe I've got another screw in there. And of course, there's always a screw you forget that's hidden away in there. And uh, these things are just absolutely amazingly designed. There's so much that goes into them. We've got another couple of clutches down in here. Does that pull off? Anyway, we've got another clutch here. We just take off this plastic bit there and it slides straight off. So there was another, at least three clutches in there. Beautiful, they're, a, uh, they're an Ogura again, clutch. Co, a MIC 5NE, 41, 24 volt DC, 3.7 watt clutch. Beautiful. And uh, it's quite a few in there and all the cogs and stuff like that if you're into those sort of things. And now I can probably get the stepper motor out too. Here comes the stepper motor. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Here we go. Look at this puppy. What do we got here? It looks like we've got an Astro Sin, I think it is, stepper. 23KM KO36 P5V. And that looks really, really beefy. I like. Looks like uh, you can really do some cool stuff with that. And of course, when you're ripping these out, don't throw out the cables as well, because they often use uh, weird ass connectors that uh, you'll need. So definitely salvage the cable out of these things. Once you undo the screws to this thing, you can see the big roller inside there with the big rubber pads on there to really grip the paper nice and solid. And on this side of the mechanism here, we're in for a bonus, three solenoids. Fantastic. And there we have it, three solenoids. These photocopiers are a gold mine. You've just got to imagine how many engineering hours went into just designing all this solenoid and paper handling mechanism and the cogs and the gears and everything else. It's just absolutely incredible. The clutch systems, ah, this is just the top paper handling mechanism. Incredible.